In today's video, I'm going to show you my five-step process with Applique, and this file is available for free download, so feel free to follow along. And this is the specs of the final stitch out. Step one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose our font. And here I'm gonna choose college, which is pretty much my favorite, I think one of the most popular fonts to go with, with Applique, just because it's super bold and super boxy. So it's perfect for Applique. And once we select the font, I wanna get a good trace. So I'm going to use the offset tool and it just gives me kind of like a perfect outline. And what I do, I just go back and I verify that all my lines are straight. I wanna make sure that I'm straight from corner to corner. So right here on the A, I gotta fix that up right there. And really that's the only place I had to fix up. Everything else was pretty good. So this first running stitch, this is my placement stitch. This is gonna tell me where to place my fabric. Step number three is to create my cut stitch. And I'm just going to copy and paste my placement stitch. And the only change I'm gonna make is I'm gonna change it the stitch length from a 2.5 to a 1.9 millimeters. And that just makes it easier to cut. So here I carefully place my fabric and here I'm putting my letters all in one shot. But sometimes you might want to do each letter one by one. Sometimes it makes it easier to cut. And one piece of advice that I would give is maybe here on the A, once it did that first cut stitch, I think a smart thing to do is to start cutting around the edges of this A, just so it doesn't get real tight when you start placing all the letters. Everybody has their own little tricks when it comes to cutting applique. And really this is the tedious part. There are so many different ways to cut it. I'm just doing it very basic here. And really the more you cut applique, the more it becomes second nature. Now it's time for our satin stitch. And my satin stitches here, they're going to be 3.5 millimeters. That's kind of like my sweet spot that I like to work with. And one last thing that I like to focus on is my corners. So any corner that's less than 60 degrees, I like to lap them. So here I'm kind of showing you the only one that's less than 60 degrees is inside the A. Everything else is above a 90 degree. Let's do a quick replay of how it's going to stitch out. So this first black line that's stitching out, that was the placement stitch followed by the cut stitch here. And I'm just making sure nothing is misaligned and everything's in order. Then it finishes with the sand stitch and sand stitch, everything is in order. So let's go ahead, let's finish this stitch out. And once we're finished, all right, this is how it looks. Now it's time to clean, make it look all pretty and bam, good to go. We are looking nice and clean. Once again, this file is available for free download, so check the description. If you have any recommendations of what I should applique next, let me know. That way I'll do it on the next project and we'll do another free download on the next project. So let me know if you have any questions, any comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.